in this series that I'm going to be creating, I'll be taking you guys through the process of how I create and develop beats here at the workshop and also when we do soft plastics, how I come up with the colors and all the details behind here on my test bench. Every episode, I'm going to be trying to make it better and better. Let's get into this first episode. Yo! Yeah. Days when it is overcast and it's a pain in the butt because it's dark light, dark light. I'm going to go ahead and tackle that head on today. How I'm going to do that is using black, Old Faithful, along with some other ingredients that I have here. All right, so to start off, what I'm going to start with is some UV glow, and I think we only need two drops because it is super strong and it almost comes out like a kind of like a purplish color in the sun but I'm just gonna mix this up real quick then next I'm gonna add a base so my base is gonna be black but I'm gonna try to do it just light because I don't want the bait to be black because you know then there's no point in creating another bait that's in between um, you know between when it's light and it's really dark so that's the main objective for today is trying to make get a color that will help during those times when you got a lot of cloud cover and it's just a lot of in and out sunlight bright dark so that's what today's video is about and we are going to start by cooking this up for a few minutes i'm going to get up to temperature and then i'm going to show you guys on a more close-up view, uh, view. I'm going to show you guys on a close-up view what it looks like, what it's going to look like before we put it into the mold, all right? So while that's heating up, this is something, let's see if I can grab some of it for you guys, you can kind of see it's really reflective um really good in dark baits i took notice um it's really good on light color baits too they just throw a different effect type of color effect um i'm gonna add some purple string if i can get this cover on then holographic small holographic glitter and to top it off we're gonna throw a nice green color if you can see it yeah so we're gonna mix that in as soon as this plastic's done so one of the main things behind this bait I'm gonna keep in mind is that it can be too dark and it can be too light. So finding that happy medium is going to be the goal for today. I don't know if you can see, but it's not as white. Plastic is super white. This is kind of like a charcoal color. So I'm going to keep going till it hits its temperature. And then from there, we're going to throw it all in the pot mix it in so to really do this kind of stuff you're gonna need a couple things for one you're gonna need you're gonna need molds so this is one of our more uh, I think this is a two inch two inch twisted grub so we're gonna start by using this because it shoots, I think it shoots 40. And with that, we're gonna need an injector. 
This is how you're going to pull your plastic out of the cup and inject it on the top of your port holes. So with that, off to the side for a minute. And then you're gonna need temperature. You always gotta make sure your, your plastic's not scorching, blazing hot. You don't wanna burn it, nor do you wanna shoot it when it's too cold or it's not fully cooked and then you'll have a very sticky, nasty mess. It's, it's gotten somewhat clear. So, a little bit too hot. So what I'm going to do is degas this really quick and I'll be back. Now as you can see, it's fully clear, no bubbles. You want to get bubbles out. Um, guys will say you don't need to, but a lot of these molds have um, very thin pieces and if there's you know a lot of bubbles or bigger bubbles that get trapped in there you can risk the bait's integrity where one bite tail will rip off half the body will rip off or it'll cause dimples um, it'll cave in on itself over time and it's just not good quality so degassing it takes a couple minutes um, and I do it throughout the process, especially when I'm trying to figure out a new color. Because it can get very frustrating fast. But it's also fun. So, we are going to look at the darkness there. So it's not overly dark. So what we're going to do is add two drops at a time. We got two drops. And mix this in. As you can see, it's gotten way darker. So I'm gonna throw this back in for a fast reheat. With the four drops, and we added two more. And we got it slightly darker. So I think this might be it. All right, so I'm gonna get ready. Put um, over here right now. Things all over the place, I swear. Thank God this is just only where I make it. Thank God this is where I just do all the testing. All right, it should be freaking scorching, freaking hot burn all my fingers yeah and I would suggest you guys use gloves for the purpose of this video I'm just gonna run it safe as I can all right so now what I'm gonna be doing is adding it in and you guys will have the actual mixed camera with you so you can actually watch it as it unfolds all right so let's we're gonna add in two half scoops of this stuff all right so it's one two let me add a little bit more all depends on what it's gonna look like let me put them all together we're gonna put not the wrong one. I'm gonna do a quarter. All right. I'm gonna add another quarter. Purple to that. And the one thing that I cannot add very much of is this, because this thing is super, super strong. So I don't know if you can actually see this, but 
That's about all I'm going to put. Alright, that's on. That's going to be coming out in camera, but that's what we got. Let's check what the temperature is. We got 350. Heat this up. We get one final temperature check. That's all she wrote for now. I'm gonna let this actually cool off. It should be cool. The mold wasn't super hot, so. Pop open and see what it looks like. Adjust this lighting really quick just to show you just how bright <clears throat> you can see it's kind of dark on this bright black ground which I wanted so something slightly smoky color A lot of the dang, this thing is too bright. There you go. So this is what we got, and hopefully next time out we're gonna be trying these out. Yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, hope you guys enjoy the video. Uh, as time goes on, we'll be building up more better and getting more more content out put on the channel. Um, so if you guys haven't, subscribe, like, and of course, comment down below what you guys thought was the best part of the video, what you guys would like to see. Um, if not, thank you guys very much, and I'll see you guys on episode two. Yeah.